Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Zaheen from India and in this problem ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to CD, P, Q and R are midpoints of AB, CD and DA and the line PQ cuts PR and CR at E and F and the area of APFR that means this area is 81 centimeters squares and area of EQDR that is this area is 64 centimeters square then we have to find the area of EFBC that means we have to find this area so how to solve this problem see if you remember the area of trapezium is equal to 1 by 2 sum of parallel sides multiplied by the height of the trapezium and area of a triangle is given as 1 by 2 base multiplied by height right so if I assume the height of this trapezium as H and since this R is a midpoint of AD that means if I draw a perpendicular from this point of extended CD through R it will look something like this and both these triangles will be congruent triangles then length of this perpendicular will actually be equal to the length of this perpendicular and both of them will be equal to h divided by 2 and this will also be equal to half of h and now if I talk about the area of trapezium ABCD it will be equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by height multiplied by the sum of parallel sides and parallel sides are AB and CD and if I talk about the area of APQD APQD is also a trapezium and its area will be 1 by 2 multiplied by height height of this trapezium is also same but the length of parallel sides are actually half of the original trapezium so this will be AB divided by 2 and this much will be CD divided by 2 or you can say this is actually equal to 1 by 4 multiplied by H multiplied by AB plus CD or you can say this is equal to half of the area of ABCD right and now if I talk about the sum of areas of triangle RCD and triangle RAB this will be equal to half multiplied by base CD multiplied by the height of triangle RCD and height of this triangle is actually equal to H divided by 2 and area of triangle RAB this will be equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by AB the base of the triangle multiplied by the height of this triangle and that height is again half of the height of the trapezium so this can be written as I can take H divided by 4 common and inside the bracket I'll have CD plus AB and this is again equal to half of the area of trapezium AB CD right so since the sum of the areas of these two triangles is half of the area of trapezium that means the area of remaining triangle RCB this is also equal to half of the area of trapezium AB CD and now let's see this drawing again if I talk about the area of trapezium APQD this is actually equal to area of the quadrilateral APFR plus the area of quadrilateral EQDR plus the area of triangle ERF and this area which is actually equal to the half of the area of original trapezium is also equal to the area of triangle RCB and the area of RCB is also divided into two parts one is this area which is the area of quadrilateral EFBC plus the area of triangle ERF that means from here I can say the area of quadrilateral EFBC is actually equal to the sum of areas of quadrilateral APFR and the area of quadrilateral EQDR so the area of quadrilateral APFR is 81 centimeter square and EQDR is 64 centimeter square that means this will be equal to 145 centimeters square 
So this was the solution for this problem and for many more interesting problem keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and if you also have any problem for which you want a solution you can WhatsApp those problems to the number shown on the screen. So keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos and bye bye till then.